I didn't know anything about it, but it was it it, it, uh, it was urgent. I, I needed I needed something, and it came through for me. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. In today's video, I will be answering a number of questions that people have been asking me uh, from the Get To Know Me video. People were like, Rachel, why did you change your course from music to biomedical engineering? What happened? So I decided, okay, let me give you guys a brief story about what happened when I joined uni. So it's a chilled video. Enjoy it. Okay, so guys, when I joined uni in first year, it was in 2015. And uh, before then, if you are doing the Kenyan system, 844 system, you know how your parents really want you to pass your papers. So I passed my uh, form 4. Uh, yeah, I passed my exam. And the following year, uh, you were supposed to choose the course you want to do. And I chose a number of courses. I can't really remember them well, but I remember that music was the fourth one. It was the last one on the list. I, it has. I. I think I chose a lot of medical. I can't really remember well. So um, when the selection came, like when the results came out, I was taken to do music technology. When my parents found out. <laughs> They were not for it, like they didn't want me to do music technology because I had passed. So it wouldn't make sense for me to, okay, for them, it would not make sense that I'm going to do music technology and I've passed so well. So that's how I ended up changing my course from music technology to biomedical engineering. So what happened when I joined uni in my first semester, first month, that whole month I was doing music a whole month as I was trying to get a course to find a course but honestly my parents wanted me to do medicine which I didn't mind doing medicine but guys seven years <laughs> seven years in school that 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 really made me start thinking a lot so I looked for a course that is close to medicine something that is close to medicine but still close to me which i love engineering i have never minded engineering i've always loved engineering so i decided okay let me look for a course and that's how i bumped into biomedical engineering i actually didn't know it existed i didn't know anything about it but it was it, 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 uh, it was urgent I, I needed i needed something and it came through for me so when I went and explained to my parents, this is what I've chosen to do, they were okay with it, they didn't mind. Uh, so I changed my course um, in October, around a time like this, I started attending engineering classes after missing a whole one month of classes. So let me just tell you guys how I struggled, I really struggled, because I had spent a whole month in music but lost a whole month of classes in engineering and you know engineering they read a lot like classes start on the week that week you've opened you start learning so if you've missed a whole month you've missed a lot and I had cuts the following week I had joined the week before the following week I had cuts so I used to spend so much time in the library <laughs> My life changed completely because of this one course called Biomedical Engineering and I stopped doing music, I stopped everything concerning music, singing, drumming, I never used to do any of those things because of engineering. It is very, very involving. I went a whole year, my whole first year, I could not remember anything to do with music. Maybe I'd, I'd listen to songs, yes, but I was not active when it comes to singing or dancing or any anything musical so after my first year I joined church and uh, that's when I started becoming active I, I started singing yeah and doing a lot of musical things I was drumming I was given those opportunities which helped me to 
to actually practice my talent if I may say so. Honestly, I must say my whole musical journey I have to say has been based on church because even drumming I learned it in church, singing, church, most of all those things <laughs> is basically church, church, church. So I went through a very interesting journey. I felt like I abandoned music for a whole year before going back but it still had a special place in my heart and I just wanted to probably advise someone out there who's in my situation maybe you want to do a course that is more artistic you want to do fashion you want to do music you want to do art but your parents are like denied look for a course that probably will help your parents and you to meet at the center try to explain to them nicely you have to be wise you know so speak to your parents wisely and kindly and you know try to explain to them exactly what you would wish so that it makes life easier for you moreover consultation i consulted uh, a couple of biomedical engineers because i didn't know anything about biomedical engineering guys i can tell you for sure i had no idea i didn't know anything about it i it was like crash course i don't even know anything so i had to consult a couple of people and they helped me yeah i understood what it's all about i i also consulted some people who I, who have been doing music technology and i decided to follow my to follow what if I followed? I don't know if I was fooling my heart or my, my mind. I don't know what I was fooling at that time. Make sure you do your research, okay? Because especially if you're in Kenya, you know how the rate of employment is. It's not really in a good state. So do your research about the course that you want to do. Maybe you want to do interior design, but your parents are telling you, look, you need to become a doctor. Honestly, when you become a doctor, from what I hear, you it's easy for you to get a job. But if you're doing interior design, I'm not sure if it's really easy for you. So you have to do your research and find out if, you're, if you've chosen interior design, how are you going to break through that hard ground and make it and be successful? So do your research. Don't just decide, oh, I won't listen to my parents. You have to be wise. Use your brains. Look at your environment. Where are you? If you're in a country where interior design is good, for you it will work in favor of you and then go for it go for it and do your best at it but if you're in kenya and you have an african parent like me <laughs> uh, i love my parents by the way guys disclaimer i really love my parents they're the best they're amazing they supported me even when i decided to do drums they supported me when i decided to sing and we still met at the middle because I am still doing biomedical engineering right now I'm actually in my fifth year so yes I am about to finish school I'm not sure if I should be excited about that part <laughs> yeah I'm about to finish school it's a bit you know <laughs> I'll be very honest with you guys I'm a bit nervous about it hey why <laughs> yeah but they supported me that's what I'm trying to say so don't just uh, don't just ignore your parents or anything. Try to talk with them and and to reason with them and also try to hear their side and let them try to hear your side. See where you guys can meet at the middle. Probably you can do music part time. I feel like right now I'm doing music part time. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's not like your passion is going to end. Your talent will always be there with you, whether you like it or not. Education, it will be those five years you never know about tomorrow. So your talent will always be with you. So don't be like, no, you cannot do this medicine thing, you know. Yeah, just try and listen to them and it will probably work for you guys. So that's just my advice to you. I hope you've enjoyed this video on why I changed my course. I'm happy that I did. I have engineering classmates who are really cool and I also have music classmates who are really cool and I still have, I have friends, 
it has not changed me in a certain sense because another thing that I have been doing through all these years that I've been in uni, I've never let engineering be an obstacle to me. So I'll go through sleepless nights reading so that during the day I can go for practice. Look, I don't mind. It's a sacrifice that I have made. I got used to it and I think it's okay. So just think about it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And also comment. Give me your experience. Tell me what you've gone through. Thank you. Bye-bye. How are you going to Oh yeah, big Yeah, so